Thank you very much, April. It's the beginning of the news we're all waiting for. Finally, some neighborhoods in New Orleans East have electricity. And Georgie crews are, of course, working to restore power to people across the metro area. Yeah, originally staff said it would take four days just to assess the damage, so mm -hmm. this is huge news. Duke Carter is in New Orleans East, and Duke, that's where some people have lights this morning. Oh, my gosh, what a sight to see behind you. Isn't it like we were trying to get to the Lake Carmel subdivision, a place that, according to the energy outage map, actually has uh, power at this time. One of the few neighborhoods in the city of New Orleans that has power at this time. And so when we got to Bullard and this intersection here, we were just like, whoa, this is pretty lit up. And this is one of the many gas stations, unfortunately not for good news that we've covered. But this is one of the many gas stations here in New Orleans East that has power. Of course, you can see it's a ran wrap around the uh, gas pumps because, well, there's no pumps or no gas at this time. And so I want our photographer to pan left a little bit. You can clearly see that we do have the lights, the street lights, even though they're not, well, functioning, fully functioning and letting you know when cars can go. You have lights over there. Again, kind of want to give a little bit of a contrast. Now, over there, you probably really can't see how dark it is, but that is actually the Walmart parking lot off of Bullard. And pretty people who are familiar with this area, you know what that is. And no lights are on that side of, of, of I-10 here in East and off of Bullard. And so we were just driving around and we saw that this is, again, one of the few areas that uh, uh, have lights. And so we want to show you all what Energy put out earlier this morning saying, that crews will have to methodically bring back additional transmission lines over time to provide additional pathways for power to enter the region, helping to maintain stability of the system throughout the region. That statement does continue to read and uh, it says this is the first step to bringing power back to the region. Now, we've heard from Leslie where energy crews said the assessment period would initially take about four days and they're going to have more than 20,000 restoration workers to pursue at least tracks to get the lights back on. And so the CEO of Energy Louisiana, Philip May, said he could not comment to give a specific timeline to restore power, but New Orleans City Council President Helena Moreno, who regulates Energy New Orleans, said that 4 day assessment was sobering. Take a listen to what she had to say. I want to be very honest with um, the people of New Orleans. I got off the phone with the Energy engineers earlier today, and they told me that the assessment, the assessment alone of the transmission failures that alone could take up to four days. So up to four days of just assessing the damage before it could be repaired. Now we're here in New Orleans the East. Again, one of the few spots here in the city that does have a power. Now also Helena Moreno mentioned that there could be talks of using the power plant, the controversial power plant in New Orleans East. No word on yet if that has a role of how some sections of New Orleans East has power at this time. But of course, hopefully we'll get some answers from energy to find out how exactly certain parts of New Orleans has power. Back to you. Duke, this is amazing news. Thank you so much.